Hi, and welcome to Scratch Lesson 2, Sensing and Events. You can start off your project by deleting the Scratch Cat out of a new Scratch project. You can now use the sprite list to import a new sprite or import a random one. If you don't like the one you imported randomly, you can delete that one and import one from file. Today, we're going to use, from the animal section, Octopus 1A. Once that is imported, you can rename it Octopus. You can also resize by using the shrink tool from the toolbar. Now we're going to add some movement to our octopus. So we're going to use the glide for one second to XY from the motion section of the block palette and also add some random movement by using the random operators from the operator section of the block palette. There'll be one called pick random number. So we're going to Im input negative 180 to 180 and also negative 240 to 240. These are the dimensions of the stage. So once you put those into the glide to the x and y coordinate, it will be gliding randomly to any point on the stage. It will take one second to get there, so if it picks a random point farther away from where the squid's location is, it will take a shorter amount of time. And if it's picks a random point that's closer, it will take a shorter amount of time because it will take one second to get there. If you snap a forever block around from the control block section of the block palette, now when you double click, your squid should be randomly moving across the stage. Now we're going to import another sprite from the fantasy section. We're going to import Dragon 1A. Once that is imported, you can rename it to Dragon. Now we're going to add some movement to the Dragon by following the squid around the stage. So if we use the point towards Octopus block from the motion section of the block palette and also the move 10 steps block, we're going to change that to move 2 steps and also add an if on edge bounce block from the motion section and now we can snap it inside a forever block so now when you run that script the dragon should be trying to get to the octopus just as we used in lesson one you can use the rotate buttons right next to the dragon dragon's name so we can either rotate freely only face left and right or never rotate now we can control these two scripts by putting a hat block on top of both stacks of scripts. Use the one green flag is clicked, so every time you hit the green flag, both scripts will run. Now the octopus is gliding randomly around the stage, and the dragon is chasing after it. We're going to have some control to our octopus's script. So if you detach the forever block that's random movement, we can go into the motion section and grab a move 10 steps block and a point towards the mouse pointer block. Also, we can control that with a forever block. Put the forever block underneath the one green flag is clicked block and add the point towards mouse pointer and move 10 steps. Now when you run that script, your octopus should be tr getting towards wherever your mouse goes and the dragon should be trying to get to the octopus. Now we want to create a stack of blocks to tell the octopus to stop moving when it's touching the mouse. So in the sensing section, we can use the touching mouse pointer sensing block, and also we can bring in an operator, the not operator. You can snap those two blocks together. Also, from the control section, use an if statement to put that not statement in. So now it says, if it's not touching the mouse pointer, we want it to move 10 steps. But if it is, we want it to move. To, we want it to stop. Using the rotate buttons, your squid will not flip upside down. Now we want to add some animation to the script. We're going to have the octopus say something. So we're going to build another if statement. So from the sensing section, we're going to use the touching dragon. 
and then from looks we're going to have it say hello for two seconds block or we're going to change that hello to say you got me now we're going to start to build our stack of blocks from the control section bring another if statement and snap it around to say you got me for two seconds and add the touching dragon so now when you run that script every single time the squid touches the dragon the squid will say you got me now we're going to have the dragon rotate left and right and we're going to start building another stack of blocks to add to the dragon script we're going to animate the dragon a little bit so we're going to go into the costumes tab and import a new costume we're going to want it to breathe fire so we're going to import dragon 1b now to incorporate that to our script we should go into the looks section of our block palette and bring switch costume 2 Now we're going to have another sensing operation. So we're going to use the if else statement and bring that first costume in there. Now if we go to the sensing section, use the touching octopus sensing block and snap that in the if statement. So now if we go into the look section, we can have another switch costume because we want the dragon to have one costume when it's not touching the octopus, but when it is, we want it to breathe fire. So this statement says, forever, if touching the octopus, switch to dragon 1b, which is the fire-breathing dragon, and then if it's not, we want to do something else, so we want it to, to switch back to dragon 1a, its original costume. So now, just like we did with the dragon, we're going to animate the octopus a little bit. You can drag off that random movement forever block by just simply dragging it off the script list. Now, if we copy the same costume in the costumes tab of your octopus you can edit the second costume it will bring up the paint editor and now what we're going to do is make the octopus appear like it's getting burnt so when the dragon breathes fire we want the octopus to switch to a costume where it looks like it's being burnt some simple paint tools can help you do this we filled in the body of the octopus being black and gray and we're going to add some smoke marks using the pen tool once you're done editing select OK and your editing will be saved now we have two costumes for the octopus so we want to import that into our script list we're going to start off a new set stack of blocks by using the one green flag is clicked and a forever block. Just as we do with the dragon, we want it to do something if it's touching the dragon, and if not, we want it to do something else. So we're going to use the if else statement, and then in the sensing portion of the block palette, use the touching dragon block and fit it right into the if statement. Now, we want to switch costumes, so from the look section of the block palette, use the switch costume to dragon 1-a1 and then if else switch to octopus 1a which is its original costume so now when you run your script your octopus should be trying to get to the mouse wherever your mouse goes the dragon should be chasing the octopus around and then when they touch each other the octopus should get burnt the dragon should breathe fire and the octopus should say you got me now we can have them start in different corners of the stage by using a control block the one green flag is click block and the go to x comma y of the motion block palette we can change that to 180 175 for the octopus and then do the same for the dragon where we're going to put it in the opposite corner so we're going to put it in go to the x being negative 240 and the y being negative 180 so now when you hit that green flag they should start in opposite corners of the stage far away from each other next we're going to import a background and add a sound to it so randomly a sound will be played so in the backgrounds tab of the stage you can import a background from nature 
we're going to import an underwater theme. You can delete the other background by just clicking on the X next to it. Now, we're going to add a script to add a sound into this project. So from the sound section, you can use the play sound pop. The sound pop comes pre-installed with this background. Now, we're going to want to have this sound play forever throughout the whole project. And we're going to want to be able to control it with the when green flag is clicked. Now, to add some randomness to the sound, we're going to use the wait one second block, but then we're going to have it pick a random number instead of just one second every time. So now, if we say pick a random number from zero to four and put it in the wait, the sound's going to be playing throughout this whole project, and it could be one second, and then one second, and then two seconds, and then four seconds. You never know. It's going to be a random time every single time. Now, when you run your script, your squid or octopus should be going wherever the mouse is. The dragon should be chasing it. And when the dragon touches the octopus, the dragon should breathe fire and burn the, burn the octopus. And the octopus should change to its burnt costume. And a random sound of popping bubbles should be playing throughout the whole project. Thank you for playing the scratch.